The experiments you will see have been carefully done by professionals and should not be tried at home without parental guidance. Please follow the caution signs throughout this program. To Creation is Science. I'm Aunt Francine and I'm here with Professor Roy and Sophia and Sarai and Zayden and Elijah. Now, I like having birds. Do you like hearing the birds in the morning? Yes. They sometimes wake you up. <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. Well, they're trying to say good morning, aren't they? They are. So tell us a little bit more what we're going to be learning today. Well, we're going to be learning a little bit about mining. Mining, which is kind of interesting. First of all, what can we mine for? Yeah. Diamonds. What is it? Diamonds. Diamonds, right. We could have diamond mines. What other kind of mines could we have? Think of one. Think of something. Go ahead. Rock yeah. mines. I'm um, sorry, what? Um, crystal mines. Mm -hmm. Crystal. Yes, we could mine for crystals. Um, dinosaur bones. Dinosaurs. We could <laughs> mine for dinosaurs, yeah. Rocks. And rocks. And How minerals. about gold? Yeah. Gold. Oh, That's absolutely gold. Yeah. Well, today, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about mining for coal. Whoa. For coal. Interesting. Now, what is coal? Do we know what coal is? Yes, what is coal? It's to... Coal is to start a fire or to make, like, an oven work. That's right. We can use it for energy, can't we? We can burn it, right? And, and use get that heat from burning it. energy, mm -hmm. okay? And coal. What makes coal? What makes coal? <laughs> was it things that was alive? Mm -hmm. Like trees mm -hmm. and plants mm -hmm. and even animals? Mm -hmm. I think so. Very interesting. So we use coal for energy. And in fact, we use a lot of coal in order to generate what we have here, electricity. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. But you know, there's some problems about mining coal. First of all, we need the energy, don't we? We've got to have energy. And when we burn coal, something happens. Something happens when we burn coal. But let's go ahead and talk about the people that get the coal out of the mines, okay? What do we call people that get coal out of the mines? What do we call them? Coal oh, miners. What do we call them? Coal miners. We call them coal miners. Well, that's job. right. But you know, that's a very dangerous job, isn't it? It's a dangerous job because they usually go what? They usually go in the ground, under the ground. Sometimes it's not under the ground, but it's a very dangerous job. In fact, there's a the most terrible mining accident that I've ever read about happened in East Tennessee in the United States. And there was an explosion in the mine. There was an explosion in the mine because there's sometimes there's gases, okay, in the ground, and there happened to be an ignition, some way of lighting those gases on fire. And you know what? There was over 200 miners in the mine, and they were all killed. Isn't that terrible? Yes. So it's a very dangerous situation. So what did the miners use in order to keep them safe? What do you think? Yeah. They used axes they or... Used they put on protection on them. Right, they use some protection, they use tools, like you said, maybe some axes, yes. Mm -hmm. Like special gear? They had very special gear. And you know, it's kind of dark in the mines, right? Oh. On the ground, yes. Helmets. I'm sorry? Helmets. Helmet, they had to have helmets on, that's right. Flashlights. Flashlight. hey, we got some things on that shelf. Oh, Can we get them over yes, here? absolutely. Okay, Can let's I get, get some, some helpers? Of these things over Can here. Help me? Check it We've out. Got Candle, we've got some we've got a mining helmet. Yep, come on over, Zayden. Yep, there we go. Get the helmet. Let me help carry that. Okay, no, you can you put, put yours on the table. The That's fine. And there we go. Elijah, here you go. There we go. go. You can put set it on the right table there. with Professor Roy. <laughs> come back oh, some more. We got some more stuff. There's more things. We there's got more some things. More stuff. Oh, we've got a lot of things to What's this? You can put that on the table over there if you like. Elijah, be very yeah, careful we got with this that. one. This one's Excellent. very special. And we got that okay, big, Okay, bring it big, over, this big one. Last stuff. Okay, okay. let's see. Very gentle. Okay, I'm gonna tell okay. you all about that. All right, I'm go. ready to get more <laughs> Let's put this over all right. here. All right, all right, so we've got. Okay. Not gonna use that, but we need that. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. 
Right, thank you. I got it. There we go. Thank you. All right. So we have some pieces of equipment that you helped me to bring over here. First of all, we've got a candle. See the candle right here? Now, in, so the mines are very dangerous and dark. Sometimes they use candles, right, in order to see. Absolutely right. And then sometimes they would have to have a miner's lamp or a light. And so we, we have several miner's lamps and lights. And if we have some more time, then we'll go ahead and light one of these up. Interesting. And then those miners, man, those miners' lamps could be attached to the helmets because they need a helmet because they could hurt their heads if they had a problem with that. Now, when they mine, not only do they get and find coal in the mines, but they can find other things as well. They can find fossils. There can be fossils in the coal. Interesting. Yeah. And here's what we call a miner's dollar. A miner's dollar. That's look how so shiny that is. The shiny that stuff looks like gold, so doesn't cool. it? It looks like gold. I think that's the sand dollar. It, it looks like, <laughs> it looks a, like sand a sand dollar, dollar right? but it's made out of coal. And that gold stuff is uh, iron pyrite. And pyrite is what we call fool's gold. Which is, mm -hmm. That's interesting. So let's set this over here. Okay. And, you, and you can look at that. Look how shiny that is. That's okay. very and we have another piece of safety equipment, and it's right here. What do we have right here in the cage? A bird? How is We've got birds. So how did they use birds as a safety in the mine? What would the birds be doing? Yeah. Because um, they can fly down, so they would look. They can fly down. Well, they usually okay. kept them in the cage, and they would take them down into the mine, and what would happen? They chirp so people don't get lost. That's right. They would chirp and make noises, <laughs> and they usually use what we call canaries. And a canary does like to, what do canaries like to do? Man, they sing, they sing and they have a beautiful, beautiful song, song all of the time. And you know what happens? If the canaries stop singing, what did the miners do? They panicked. They panicked. <laughs> That's exactly what they did. And they got out of the mine as quickly as they could if the birds, the canaries, stopped their singing. You know why they would have to get out? Um, yeah. Because maybe there was like some danger. That's right. Because the, the canaries were high tech. They were high tech animals. And now we have high tech equipment, don't we? We have uh, pieces of equipment, electronic equipment, where we can tell how safe the air is, right? Mm -hmm. But the birds, the canaries, they have to have very, very pure air. Mm -hmm. And if something happens to the air, like a gas coming from the earth that might kill them, then they stopped singing. And so the miners, as they would work, they would check on the canaries. And if the canaries were singing, that's a good sign. But you know what? If the canaries were upside down in the cage like this with their feet up in the air and weren't singing, then that means that they were suffering and that some of them might even die because the air was getting what? Poisonous. Getting polluted. And so the miners got out of there. So I tell you what, we're gonna take, we're gonna take yes. and move our, okay. our birds because we don't wanna hurt them and we're going to look at some of the things that they use in order to make energy and light in, in the mines. That would be fun. Yeah. All right, so let's see what we got. We got our helmet here and we've got a flask right here. And we've got, oh, who has the container? Let's look at this container right here. This container right here has part of the fuel the energy that would make light in the mine. And this is a container and it has, it has, uh, it has uh, uh, what do we have? Sometimes kerosene. No, not kerosene, but it's a powder. In fact, oh. I have some, look, I have some little things right here. Oh, wow. And it's carbide. Oh, carbide. And it's carbide. It's carbide. And carbide is carbon, okay, and also calcium. Calcium and carbon mix. And it's very, very powerful. I'm gonna, we're going to show you the power of it oh. because they use that for light energy. And so I'm going to take a little bit of water. Let's put a little bit of water in here. Oh, safety glasses, glasses. Oh, safety yes, thank glasses. Thank you for reminding me. Safety <laughs> glasses. glasses. Here we go. Put a little bit of water in here. <laughs> All right. This is a very special kind of flask, okay? It's very, very thick. Pour a little bit of water in there. Not much, just a little bit of water in there, All right. And this calcium carbide is so, so powerful. I'm going to put just a couple of pieces of calcium carbide. And it looks like little rocks, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put some of those in there, and we're going to start to make a gas. See, it's bubbling? It yeah. is. It's bubbling. It's making a gas that we call what? What do we call that gas? Yes. 
<laughs> oh, I thought you were raising your hand. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this. Let's see what we got. All right, let's go ahead and light this. I'm going to light this right here because some of that gas is coming out. I'm going to put this little stopper real light up here, and we'll have a little explosion, and something might happen with a stopper. Oh. Give me a countdown. Wow. Three, two, one. Three, two, two one. Oh. <laughs> and there's Whoa, the stopper. The stopper right oh. down there. Whoa, and there's this, oh, thanks for helping me get that. Was that a lot of power? Yeah. Oh, a lot of power. Me. Well, they yeah. use that in order to light up their lamps. Okay, so that's what we're going to try to do right here. So I have a lamp. This is a miner's lamp, okay, and my assistant, this belonged to her grandfather because he was a miner. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some of those calcium carbide, okay, little rocks, we could call them little stones. We're gonna put them in the bottom of the miner's lamp. Just a few of them, okay? Just a few of those, just two or three, that's all we need, right? We're gonna put this down in here. And what else do we need? Um, what else fire? do we have in there? A water. water. Water, that's right. So water is going to activate it. All right. So I'm going to pour a little bit of water in here, and then we can adjust the water. The water is going to drip down into the calcium carbide down here. It's going to pre create gas, and that gas is very, very strong. So I'm going to, we got some water in here. Let's pour a little bit of water in there. Here we go, a little water. Okay, that's our water container. All right. And that's going to be dripping down into that calcium carbide, all right? We can adjust it. It has a little valve right here. And so we can make it drip. We have a lot of drips, okay? We can make it so it's not dripping as much on the calcium carbide, all right? And these had automatic starters. So you could take and do that and make some little sparks and light it. But that's not working. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to light that on fire. Hang on. We might need some matches. Okay. Wants to, it's oh, oh, it's it. been doing that? Yeah. Oh! Yay. Whoa, 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 it went out again. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh my. But that's a very, very bright light, isn't it? And the miners needed whoa. a bright light. And look at that helmet over here. Where's that? Well, here oh, it is. Right here. This helmet right here has the lamp on the helmet itself. But you know what would happen if there was gases in the mine, would you want a flame? No. no, because it might start an explosion. That's interesting. So they had safety lamps. They had safety lamps like this that would have a shield over it, and it would not allow the heat from the flame to go into the mine. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. And then they started to use what? They started to use electrics, electricity. They use batteries and they use electric lights, and that's a lot safer than having a flame, right? Yeah. yeah. Right, absolutely. But you know what? Now we burn coal because we have a lot of coal, and that makes a lot of energy for us. But there's problems with burning coal because you know what happens in the air when you burn coal? We actually put, what, well, yes? It probably may start the fire to go bigger. Yeah, well, it actually pollutes the air. It does. It it's does. Dirty we actually energy. we actually put radioactive elements in the air when we burn coal. So mm. we got to be careful with that, don't we? Yeah. In fact, it puts more radioactive elements in the air than a nuclear plant. Oh. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. That is wow. Really interesting. Well, I'll tell you. I think that's interesting about mining. It is, and I think we need to get our Bible. Can you get our Bible? But you know what? That reminds me of how we need to let our light shine for Jesus. Don't you want to light, let your light shine for Jesus? I do. And that there's lots of warnings, but we need to follow his light. And I think it's in John, John 8, verse 12. John 8, verse 12. Then Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. So we want to have that light of Jesus. Will you follow him today? Thanks for joining us on Creationist Science! Bye!